Hi, I'm Cindy Abbott. We're behind the camera. And we are in beautiful East Aurora in the beautiful, and I mean beautiful and historic East Aurora Theater uh, on a picture perfect day in the sense of uh, looks like a postcard outside. But uh, here with me is Senator Pat Gallivan. And what is most important, I think, about the fact we're in East Aurora is the movies that are out there that have been shot here because of how beautiful it is. But also, you're the guy. I remember so many years ago when we were talking about film credits and creating a film industry in uh, the region, not just Buffalo, but the region, Niagara Falls as well, you said this is a good idea and you supported it. And now it looks like those film credits might be in danger. Well, I'd like to say that it was my idea originally. <laughs> it wasn't. I, there was a lot of people involved. Um, you but were, you really and, went and out you, there. You should take some credit. You were, you were involved as well. But the catalyst uh, really was a meeting that we had uh, with the film commissioner and, and ironically, Bill Fickner, who right. thought they had an idea how to help the industry in Western New York, despite the film commissioner's best efforts to attract uh, the industry to Western New York. We know the challenges they faced with the costs. Well, you know, uh, uh, Pat, I was just looking for Senator. <laughs> we've, been to, we've known each other for so long. Uh, about five years ago, we looked at the economic impact numbers, and it was under a million dollars, like 750000 Today, when you look at it, it's almost, if not over, $40 million. I think last year was $40 million, and it was interesting. I, I recently reviewed the economic impact and the spending. The three years prior to the... Uh, the upstate credit uh, being implemented, I think the total of spending was about $4 million. The last three years, or the three years immediately following the implementation of that enhanced credit was over $60 million in Western New York. So we knew the challenges. It was very costly for film producers to come to Western New York. They didn't have the crew base, the base of workers, the behind the scene workers. They had to be shipped up from New York City and staying in hotels cost money, paying the overtime cost money. So. The thought was, if we could do something in, in the way of a, an enhanced credit for upstate, we can attract people here, uh, put Western New York on a level playing field when it comes to uh, attracting films, and build a crew base. And lo and behold, it, it, it happened. You know, this is, I think, a success story. We are very quick to criticize government and some government programs, but I think this is one, it's a real example, that um, the elected officials worked with the community and the people in the industry to do something good for the betterment of the entire community. Well, you know, it's funny because I remember when w there was a meeting in which Bill Fickner was there, you were there, some other legislators as well, and we talked about this. Um, and what it was was adding an additional tax benefit for filming in the region. So maybe that's something you could explain a little bit about because the criticism that has been leveled is about the program statewide that somehow the majority of the films are being, you know, going to New York City. But but so the state had a film had a film production credit and most of the work was done in New York City when they went upstate so to speak, they didn't want to move too much out of New York City because of the cost of bringing a crew and workers three, four hundred miles from the city out to western New York or even to other upstate areas. So the notion was to provide an additional 10 percent for films upstate, an additional 10 percent from the credit that they already got, a little additional incentive for upstate to level the, the playing field so to speak for western New York. Now in the long run when you look at the overall picture, it's good for everybody in the in the state, picture no pun intended. <laughs> so we had a film production credit and it was doing some good things for New York City, but not the rest of the state, and we should be concerned with the whole state. And now when we look at that program in its entirety and what it's done for Western New York um, and the state, and you look at, I like to look at it as an investment. So there are people that criticize a tax incentive like this and targeting a certain industry. I look at it a little different. The state has made an investment in an industry. We've created jobs, we've brought work and money and outside dollars, not just to Western New York, the entire state, and we've got to return our invest on our investment of 15%. Who would not invest a dollar to get a dollar 15 back? And so that's that's what it is. So for every every tax dollar spent, government gets back a dollar 15 in the form of taxes from the spending of the film producers, of the production workers, of the spending at the restaurant, the hotels, 
the tourists, the additional industries that pop up. I think it's been a very successful program, and I certainly will work to make sure, or I will work to keep it in place. You know, what's interesting, I was with some folks from uh, Visit Buffalo, Niagara, you know, we were just talking in general, and of course, with our tourism agency, you're always looking at, you know, how do we get people in here in the winter? You know, we want to make sure that the hotel rooms are, are filled. And it's always usually a downturn, you know, or there's always something, you know, going down once the really cold weather comes. And this past year, there was an upturn, and they said, mm -hmm. it's got to be because of the film industry, that it, we had a lot of things shooting in Buffalo. So there's a direct result. Those people are staying in hotel rooms, they're eating, just as you said. But this creation of jobs is also very exciting, because I know the union has been adding members, you know, that for the union productions there are still independent films that are being shot and these are all very creative jobs that, that people would like. The numbers don't lie and we've seen the additional spending in Western New York if I'm not mistaken last year there was over 2,500 jobs created in Western New York alone some of them are temporary but some are permanent and you look at things like uh, you look at it at things like the local union the, the stagehand union the Yahtzee I, I forget exactly what the acronym is, they hardly had any members five or six years ago from Western New York. I think last year they sworn 30 new members wow. who are now working in a full-time capacity in that industry. Uh, when The Pulse was here in Western New York and filmed here, I talked to an individual, might have been from Philadelphia, a, a, a younger man who had his own company doing the electric or grabbers, I think, <laughs> I think they call it. You're learning the lingo. But, but nonetheless, he was shipped in from Philadelphia to come to Western New York to work on that on that particular film and he was thinking of moving here and bringing his company here because there's enough work. We talked to some people that are actors originally from Buffalo that are now out in LA that can't believe that they don't get to work in LA and they come back home to Buffalo to work. Uh, another, another young guy from the east side of Buffalo who started his own business and he's now placed thousands of extras in films and all these local actors, he's placing them not just in, in films in Western New York, but in other places in the country. And his base is Buffalo, New York. Well, when we walked into this beautiful theater here, which has such a wonderful historic feel in East Aurora, uh, you, you could share the, the anecdote that you heard from folks that were here. They just had people in looking at it, right? The proprietors of the yes. theater, have ta they talk about people all the time. That they have seen their theater on film, and because they saw it in a movie, they <laughs> want to come to East Aurora to see where it was shot. Viddlers, the local businesses, have benefited from this. You, you talk with uh, the Chamber of Commerce here, and they have seen a direct benefit and have been very cooperative in working with the Film Commission to help on past films and bringing a fi additional films to East Aurora in particular, but also Western New York. And I think that's when you, you hear anecdotally the people that come in from out of town, regardless of where they are in Western New York, whether it's in East Aurora or whether it's down in Randolph or whether it's in the city of Buffalo, it's, it's the same. They've had a wonderful experience. They were treated extremely well. They had, had no idea what a beautiful area we live in and they couldn't wait to come back. Well, and in fact, when I was here, uh, when we were setting up, I was talking to the folks here from the theater, and they gave me a list of the restaurants that I need to come out and try, because there's great food. You know, there are there wonderful is. restaurants, there's great things going on here. Uh, Senator, uh, finally, what should people do? I've received a couple of calls from people that had made movies here in Buffalo, and they saw this report that calling, you know, for another senator is calling that they eliminate the tax credits. What should people do that are concerned? I think people should speak up, reach out to their, their state legislators, their local elected officials, and speak up and say that this is a good thing. So it's not just, uh, not just the good feeling of uh, the notoriety or, or the focus on Western New York and it's good people. That's a wonderful thing. But look at the numbers. Everybody in Western New York, they're taxpayers, they're concerned about government spending. Their dollar is being invested in a program by the state, and the state is getting a 15% return for them, for the citizens of Western New York and the citizens of the state. We can help to provide them numbers. I'm sure the Film Commission would be willing to provide sure. uh, the numbers. My office certainly would be willing to provide any citizen 
the data that's out there. But I think they need to speak up, make their voice heard to their elected officials to ensure that their elected officials are properly representing them. Great. Thank you, Senator Gallivan. Sure thing, and thank you for supporting the film credit. You heard it. Uh, you need to support it if you want to continue having films made here in our region. I'm Cindy Abbott-Leitro for Behind the Camera, and we'll see you next time.